I was about 11, I was already into fixing things. I had one of those soldering guns that worked half the time, and I was using it to fix stuff around the house. Toasters, model train controllers, and then it gets to the point where you're like, geez, I kind of know a lot. I use these instruments, I design these instruments. I bet you I can make a living doing this on my own, and that's when you start to look into your own company and uh, starting your own thing. A small company like mine can release this very particular machine for a very particular market that serves a very particular purpose. The constant challenge is to stay in business and to see the product through from the beginning to the end. You know, that last five or 10% of sound that people are looking for. I wouldn't be doing this and spending my days and nights slamming over these features that I believe add something to the instruments if I didn't truly believe that there were people out there that are looking for it. And there's no question they are. And they know what it is I'm trying to achieve. I do look at what I do as if it's almost like art.